protective parent. I'd be happy to be raising your hand. Okay, what did we learn? Who came up with something good that worked? How did you discover that these children have protective parents, and what did you suggest? <laughs> um, my, my child was uncomfortable doing things without his parents, but was uncomfortable to talk to his parents about how he was feeling. So we came up with the suggestion that perhaps he would want to go tour the college without his parents to see them through fresh eyes. Now that is an excellent suggestion. Mm -hmm. I'm going to capture that. Okay, cool. You guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Other things? Again. Keeps happening with you, Bob. I can't. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, this WWC mentoring. But I had I know that my mentee. It, I I think he's been um, accepted UC Santa Cruz and another college locally, and he's been taking care of his elderly parents. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be interesting mm -hmm. how to try to yeah. do that. I think be. I think the only way I can do that. It be um, supportive, right. whatever decision he makes. Yeah. So, did you guys hear that in the back? Yeah. Yeah. So, her, oh, my, her my, student that was taking care of his elderly really parents cool. and he got excited to use Santa Cruz, exactly. which is, you know, close but not right around the corner. Right, right. So, right. You know, yeah. there's some issues with that. So, anything you can do to see him working, you know, he's been basically, it looks like the breadwinner. Holy cow. Yeah, our student did the same thing. They were working 20 hours a week. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happened with the real, the real students that we gave only half to if they had to work, so mm -hmm. they could only take half a load. Mm -hmm. And you know, as long as they keep taking some classes, and then they're still working toward mm -hmm. a goal. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still making yeah. progress. So just we just, you know, right, right. But if they if they're home duty, sometimes you, they just can't get out. Of them. Right. Up. And there's night classes and evening. But they just need to keep pushing on forward. I, get, I have kind of two questions. My husband's a professor, and he would ha I taught chemistry for many years, and he would have students in his classes that um, hated sciences, hated chemistry, and really wanted to do something like art or dance or drama or history, mm -hmm. and but would say to him, well, my parents won't pay for my education if I don't major in, history, in mm -hmm. chemistry and become a pharmacist. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean, that narrow kind of a thing. And, you know, which is frustrating to me because I feel like kids ought to follow their hearts, but there's got to be a balance somewhere. I mean, I'm wondering if you get a, a, a mentee like that, right. how, how do you kind of talk to the person without totally undermining the parents? You don't want to remember. Right, well, what you, I think in that case, that's a perfect example of the very first thing that we talked about, which is um, be sensitive to the child situation, mm -hmm. okay? So that's an example of we can't, you don't try to change his mind. Right. You can't be judgmental about that. Right. That's his reality. That's his life. That and might not be what he wants to do. And it might not be what an American kid you would want for an American kid. But this, if this, if a kid comes from another culture, you respect that culture and you don't try to say, oh, you know, you you should do whatever you want. You know, good old American individualism. It isn't the case. You know what I mean. Um, so you want to, that's the kind of thing you, you listen and you empathize and you do not try to change it. I'm glad that you brought that up actually. That's a very the good. hardest thing for me in, as a mentor is to not problem solve for them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That is so hard. Right. You want them to learn how to do that, you want to listen, you want to reflect that stuff back, but you don't want to be into solving the problems for them. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Okay, so um, well, that raises an interesting question. Yeah. It would be good to meet the parents so at some time if you can, the course absolutely. of the year. Absolutely, if you can, um, I think it would be good too. That's what I would always want yeah. to do is meet the parents. <coughs> so, um, okay, so we just have a few more minutes, and we have Miss Katie Fitzgerald back again with uh, something in her hand. Um, but before we uh, go to Katie, I just want to tell you guys who came and who didn't today so that you know whether or not you're going to find your mentee. Um, and then also, I'm, my purpose in doing this is 
so that you can go back to your clubs. I'm going to write everybody an uh, email, um, but again, some people don't check your email that often. Um, and so you're going to send us a text. Clubs. Pardon? You're going to send us a text then? Uh, yeah, I'm going to send you a text and look for you on Facebook. But just to ask you very specifically to go back to your clubs and help us get these kids to come next week, okay? Because next week we have much smaller classes. We have plenty of room for everybody. If you Also, I want to be quite explicit. If you have a kid that somehow didn't get their paperwork in, no big deal. There's still time. It's not like we, we had a deadline so that it would be reasonable for Mission College to get all these kids into their system. There is still time in this coming week. They'll all be back in school to work with the kids. We have several corner case kids that um, weren't able to get everything accomplished. We have one girl who doesn't have a fixed address, so we need to um, get her uh, uh, her information. And we'll, we will get that, and we'll get her in on Saturday. So anything you can do to encourage people to make sure that these kids come next week, Pat. Who do we send the paperwork to? Um, Katie Deer? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, it's only going to be a few people, I think. But um, they all have Katie's name. They have their, her, her email and her fax number and all of that. Yes. Um, you ever sent email? Did you get the email? I'll send it again. I'll send it again. I, I've got it memorized, so I'll send it again. Okay. Do you have a Yahoo group that maybe we can all partake in? So if there's a, a group wide project. We could do that. We could absolutely do a Yahoo group. That would be a, a good project for one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could do that, and I, I would love to do that, but I'm supposed to be sort of starting to back out. But I think that's an excellent idea. And some people will use it and some people won't. That's for sure. Yes? I'm sorry, I, I, may, not have, I may not have heard you correctly. If one, of, if one of your students, I have two, was not here today, I should try to get in touch with her and encourage her to come next week. Absolutely. And, for the and furthermore, week, next, week also? next week we're having the exact same thing. We're okay. having more mentor orientation and we're having and the, the class again. Okay. And when the kids, they filled out their form, they said they want to come on the 14th or the 21st. And that's, so we've got, most of the kids actually signed up for this week, but we've got a good crowd next week. And so if they didn't make it today, we want them to come next week. So if that happens to be your mentee, but further than it happens to be your mentee, if it happens, I'm going to say the school so that you'll know if it's from your club, then you can uh, make it your business, and I will make it my business to go back to your um, fellow Kiwanians and try to get these kids to come, okay? Okay, so let me just um, go tell you. The folks that have not shown up, I'm going to give you that, okay? So if you don't hear your mentee's name, then you'll know they're, they're here. So Brianna Chavez from New Valley is not here. Adine or Adine Fareles, Fareles from Lee High School is not here. Dion Johns from Oak Grove is not here. Um, okay. Trevor Kirtland, uh, actually, uh, Elias has the East Side guys all down. Um, Tre Trevor Kirtland from Pioneer is not here. Um, uh, Dolores Mitchum Savitz from New Valley is not here. Uh, Ju Linda Pattison from Lee High School is not here. Um, Juan Pena from Boynton High School is not here. And Morgan Perez from Branham High School is not here. Uh, Khadija Reed from Branham High School is not here. Sun Vong from James Lick is not here. And Joseph Whitebread from Boynton is not here. And then there are just four more. Um, uh, Rosana Castillo Cabanas is not here from Prospect. Uh, mm -hmm. Christian Hernandez from Broadway. Um, Beatriz San Juan from DCP, and, unless they came a little later. And Nicholas Smith from New Valley. Okay, so that's a total of 15 kids out of 53. That's pretty darn good. Um, you know, they're, they're kids, they're not going to show up. We have some in tours that didn't show up. So, so, you're, so now you know, if you didn't hear your so kids' name, you know your kids are going to be over there. So you're yeah. going to be looking for them. Some of you know who they are. If you're having trouble finding them, uh, I don't know all their names and faces, but I will certainly help you. Do they have now, tags on? Um, you know, we didn't think about that. Um, so we'll figure out a way to do that. <laughs> We'll figure out a way to do that. Um, and then we will try to do the thing where we get the kids that know which schools or have an idea which schools they're going to go to to sit together for lunch, which also breaks them up a little bit from their little high school groups. Um, but, you know, I would just do that 
go around and, you know, you could say, just say the person's name, whoever you're looking for, if you don't know what they look for, John. Question, if uh, the mentor showed up today, but the mentee did not, does the mentor have to attend this class, or no. can he show up at noon? Just show up at noon. That's an excellent, excellent question. You don't have to come again. There will be a different person, um, so it might be worth it. She's probably going to be 10 times better than I am, and she is... Uh, she'll have a, certainly have a different um, point of view than I do, and but you absolutely don't need to come again. But you should show up at 12:30 for lunch, okay? And the only reason I shifted it 12 to 1:30 to 1:30 for lunch. Oh. Katie, dear. So I, I have an idea. If we, um, if you guys hang out and then right before 12:30, when they're getting ready to break up here, the classes are side by side. We can take all the mentors up there and see if it's not an easier process to identify uh, mentor as they come out. Mm -hmm. up. Yeah, or actually go into the classroom and kind of say, "Okay, here we have, and who's your mentee?" Okay. And then that way it might be a little simpler introduction. Okay. I, you guys have them. Um, we each of the clubs have different schools, right? Right, so we could start so out. So if we could groups. start out in school groups, it would be much easier for us to find our men. Although I think if we get outside the doors and we have them coming out and they say their name, then you'll be able to identify them right away. So you just step up. We'll have them. Or at least if we let them know that we're standing outside the class. However, you guys want to. I'm just saying that you know, right before 12:30, we can interrupt the So we're going to go out there and then we're going to walk over to the campus center. And but right now we're going to get our our um, vouchers, our lunch vouchers. Okay. But before we do that, um, one more thing that um, Elias that Kevin thought of that I didn't, which is, which is an evaluation of this class. We do not have a form for you. But we want to know what works, what doesn't work, because we want it to get better and better and better. Okay, and um, so can I ask you to? Um, I'm going to give you a sheet and just flip it over and write anything that you think would be helpful uh, to us um, on the back. Okay, Elias, can you start back in the back? Actually, we need two more packets. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a few more okay. packets. I got, well. I got packets. I got packets. Thank you, darling. Can we email you our comments? Yes. Who needs extra packets because they're um, they're representing someone else? They'll get it next week, but you you do want to give each mentor wants to have a mentor handbook because they're just you know packed with information. We need blank paper. Ah, yeah, right. Still haven't got it. We're seven. Seven scholarships. So there's three of us here. A quick comment. I. We can take, we really we take it back and copy you, ourselves. You like we got it. We're going to do it. We would like any suggestion that you may think about to make this process better. The committee probably will want to hear from all of you. There's about three or four of us are working. But I personally, and I'm sure you are one of I'll give a big hand to Kim for her work. Um, it's really amazing how flexible she's been in working with all the clubs and being able to keep us moving in the right direction. This is a, almost a work of love, but it's really the right thing for all, all of us to do because as the foundation, Shortino, they really want to help these kids and make sure that the, their investment is really used properly and that they can continue their education. And so it's, a, a, again, a, an act of love and very thorough work that she does is amazing. So we want to thank you again for you know, all that you want to start. My pleasure. My pleasure. And, um, and uh, on that note, I would also like to thank the subcommittee because these guys were tireless and very dependable in showing up and helping us think through every single issue you could possibly think of except for the ones that you guys brought up today that we forgot. 
Um, and I also like to thank Katie Fitzgerald because Katie is a financial aid officer. She's not a, you know, uh, admissions officer. She's not, and this is a Saturday, and she has a regular job, and this she got handed uh, several months ago and has been unbelievable about every single bloody detail that we've come back with her. She just bounces right back up and, and answers um, every question and does uh, goes way out of her way to um, help us. So I'd like to give her a round of So if um, you just finish your little comments and then pass them to the end of the table and we'll pick them up and then if anybody needs any extra packets for their mentors. Hey, yeah. Okay, so okay. can I close the Yes, lunch voucher to take to our cafeteria when you can order there's a variety of food that they typically have not as fully stocked on a Saturday as it is during the week because obviously less people here but they are expecting a large group today between the students and the mentors so um, all you need to do is decide what you want there's a place where you can go up order something you know grilled like if you wanted a burger or a sandwich they have quesadillas so they will have um, a variety of food some of it um, a lot of times is already um, sandwiches that they've made um, already there so you'll see it's a big variety you'll give this to the cashier which is probably Nancy or her daughter working so and they will mark on the back exactly what you ordered but seven dollars should allow you to hopefully get something to eat and a drink and then she just tags on the back what you actually got to make sure that um, you know if it goes a little over it's probably okay and if it's a little under that we don't charge um, the Kiwanis group any more than needs be okay so if you only use five dollars worth they're not going to charge the full seven dollars so she is going to be generous in tracking that for you and then the other thing is I wanted to make sure does everybody know where they're going next Saturday the ones that are returning well, right. they're not returning. They're just going to lunch if they're returning. No, I mean next week, next Saturday. Oh, the ones that are returning. Kidding. Thank you for the inputs. Some so. of you are coming back next Saturday, right? Well, we're coming just for lunch. lunch. I'm coming. Okay. Oh, just for lunch. So no, no return training. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, just so you guys know, mentor training, in case you need to know, MT22. Not in this room, but it's in this area. Okay. So then the other thing is, because you guys have worked really, really well with me, this, and really, our first time putting this together as well. I mean, not that we haven't done events here, but um, it's been a training experience for all of us to do an event quite like this. Okay, so me, like Kim said, this is not my forte. So throwing this all together, um, it did take a group of us, um, Chris in admissions, was the one who had to load in all the students' information manually, okay? So that's a lot of information. And going back and forth because there were signatures missing and things like that, he was very, very patient because since some of them might be considered a minor, it's a big problem for us. Um, so, you know, anyway, so we, I brought something just to thank you for bearing with us, a nice little um, grocery bag. Anybody who lives in San Jose is going to be appreciative, <laughs> especially. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I brought a bunch of these for you guys to have one, as well as a nice um, pen and highlighter for future notes, okay? So um, just thank you for everything and very much. It's been a long haul for me too, so um, anyway, but we're glad to do it because, um, again, you know, what we get out of this is hopefully some returning students that are going to like Mission as of today, but we're not all about that. We're educators, and we want to make sure that they pick a school where they're going to be comfortable, 
and that all we care about is that they're going to get a higher education. That's all we're here for. Right. Whether it's here or somewhere else, that's more convenient because I know some of them were coming from, I think, Hayward and, you know, so some great distances. So, um, you know, this is a great win for us to have them here today. We'll hopefully get some that will return in summer and fall, but really our main thing is to make sure that they stay college bound. How I said, you know, we could go upstairs. I don't know if you guys want to go upstairs. It's the third floor, okay? My thighs are burning by the time I get up there. So, um, you know, we can rethink that. You guys can stay on the lower level, and I'll just go up and let them know that their mentors are downstairs waiting for them, however you guys want to do this. Where's the, where's the cafeteria? Cafeteria's in the um, building. You Anybody who parked in Lot C, walked by it. It's the um, campus center. It's kind of in the center of the campus. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, it's kind of across the way from here. Not that you even, if you've lost your sense of direction, it's, it's that way. No. It's not the hospitality manager. It's right next to it. Do the students know that we will be asking for them to sit with us? Yes, they do. Okay. So, yes. I can't walk up those stairs. Yeah, I know. So, but we do have elevators. For oh, they do. I mean, so we do have elevators as well as we have the doors yes, to the door. Yes, we do. But I just, you know, thought it might be easier, um, you know, to have them come down and let them know that you're waiting right. for them. Okay, so let's do that. They're captured let's in do a that classroom because like this. I right, and the hallway them. outside classrooms are just, they're just little skinny things. So let's all just go together and we'll go into the, to the main building. It's called very creatively the main building and we're going to go to and stand in the in the bottom in the center and then we'll we'll ask them to come down and then we'll sort everybody out and then we'll walk over any room to the campus center together but one last thing I noticed I counted 28 people in here and I only have um, I think 25 people that signed up so those of you that are trying to not get credit for coming you need to get credit for coming so can I, um, is there anybody, who, who didn't sign the thing, Ruben? Oh, oh wait, the sign yeah. the no. sign the sign the sign the sign sheet. Sheet. right here. Oh, uh, that's right here. Sign sign you have a blank sign thing? It's not a sign. So, I don't think so. We can put that in the bottom. One child is here today. Yeah. Uh, one child is here today. Yeah. Uh, here's one it. sheet. So they have to all come. So there's more agreement. And this room and this one for another one. That's just, I'm not, didn't get her paperwork. It's, um, they said she did. Between you and you. So tomorrow we'll go to the council. Good. So um, who else didn't sign up? Ruben, I'm Craig, Pat, you signed up. Did I? Yes, you did. <laughs> JR, did you sign in? Did I see you saying you signed sign sign the sheet that you passed yes. around, yeah. The sign in sheet. I just oh, want to make sure I know everyone who oh, came. Oh. I thought you made a The sign in sheet. Okie dokie. Okay, you can get up, stretch your legs, and we're going to go meet our babies. Okay. Oh. And bags, what, what I was trying to tell you is but pick up the I have the information on the students if you want to come back there. And, well, I can bring it up here, and we can assign you a mentor, mentee today. Yeah, it's good. Well, should we walk up? Well, we only have one person. The 